Today we're going to be teaching you simple probability. And I'm going to start by teaching you something that may get you out of simple roundage. Now, there's a difference between your mother is ripper and mad, she's yelling at the top of her lungs, maybe cussing a little bit, and slamming the door. You will never, ever touch that cell phone again. I can't believe you did that. Now this won't get you out of that. But if she, if she's like, oh my gosh, you're such an idiot. I can't believe you did that. Well, I'm afraid you're just not going to get yourself home for the rest of the night. That. You guys all know what I'm talking about? The well, difference is how you say, okay, mom, I sense that you're upset. <laughs> so I would like to offer you an opportunity to give me a chance to redeem myself. And I would like to do a small game of chance with you, Mom. Now, you're going to then go search around your house and find three pennies, or three quarters, or three nickels, but you need three coins that feel the same, okay? Then you go and you take a little marker, permanent marker, and you put a dot on one of them, so that two of them will be exactly the same, and there will be one, same. one different. And this is what you say to your mother. Mom, let's play a small game of chance. If I win, I'm not grounded for the night. If you win, I'll do double grounding. Now, most mothers, if you don't say it disrespectfully, most mothers will, will go for this. Because you're going to let the mother pick what's going to happen. And this is what you say. I'll even let you pick, and I'll take whatever's left over. You, and you explain. We're going to take these coins, and we're going to put them in a bucket or a cup, something that you can shake without them falling out. And then we're going to draw two at a time. Okay? And we'll shake this again, and we'll draw two at a time. And we'll do this 20 or 30 times, Mom. But you have to make sure you do it at least 20. If you don't do it 20, you might lose. Okay? If you do it 50, if you can get her to agree to 50, you will win, Mom. So okay. You can even pick whatever you think is going to come up more frequently. Do you think you'll get them the same more frequently or different more frequently? You let her pick. Now, okay. common sense, this is not a trick, okay? If you have two coins that are the same and one coin that is different, what's she going to pick unless she's an idiot? The same. Right, she's going to pick the same because it looks like it's a two to one relationship, right? Okay? I learned this when I was in graduate school, in college, along with a whole bunch of other graduate mathematicians, and we all said the same. Okay. All right, so that's what I'm saying. Your mother will say the same. Then what you do is you come over and you take a little piece of paper and you go, Mom, I'm even going to let you pull them all so that you don't think I have something sticky on my, you know, you're not accusing me of cheating. Okay. All right, so we have same, we have different. You make a little chart, and I am going to let these youngsters up here pull. Okay, don't look. A bleh, uh, red and a white, so there's, okay. We have this, we have a white and a red. Oh yeah, two reds, we got a same. Yes. Same, two reds. Now we were in graduate school, our, our professor made us do this 50 times, and we're laughing. So there we have it. <laughs> okay. So there we have it. Um, today is to show you why this happened. She said, oh, "You knew that that was going to happen. You tricked me." You say to her, "How could I have tricked you, Mom? You picked what you thought was going to come up more often. I had to take the other one." But you must say it in a non-disrespectful manner. And then, if she still gets on her high horse and she's still going to crowd you, you say, okay, Mom, I know you think I'm an idiot. How about I explain this to you of why it works? And then maybe if she thinks you have a particle of an intelligence, after explaining it to you, maybe she'll take the first thing to her head. Okay? This is what you guys need to jot down. This is the definition of simple probability. Take the number of favorable outcomes and you divide it by the number of possible in any particular um, situation, even just flipping a coin. The chances of getting ahead 
Well, there are two things on, on a simple coin. You either get a head or a tail, right? All right. If you are betting that there's going that it's going to come up heads, the, the number of favorable outcomes is one. There's only one head on the coin. But the possible is two, because there's a head and a tail on the coin. So that's why you guys know if it's a fair coin, you should have a 50% chance, right? A one out of two chance. You have to take that same logic and apply it to we our had line. a white chip, and we had two reds, right? So I'm going to start. There's the white chip. Here's one of the reds, and here's another one of the reds. Now, what we have to do is figure out all the possible things that could happen. And since there are only three chips in the cup, it's fairly easy to do. When you're trying, when you're pulling them two at a time, this white could get paired with that red. So you've got a white compared with the leftmost red. Now, this white could also get paired with that red. Or the only other situation that could occur is that the two reds could be both drawn at the same time. So there are only three possible outcomes. Now, the reason your mother will lose is because she thought that they would come up the same. There's three. There's only one occurrence where they will come up the same. Okay, and you're going to lose. If she says different, I would encourage you to say, okay, mom, we'll just do it 10 times because then at least you have a chance. The more times you do it, the laws of probability will play in. And if you do it 50 times, there's just no way. Because you've got two chances out of three for different, okay? The chances of coming up different will be two out of three, and the chances of coming up the same will be 1 out of 3 repeating. This is equal to 0 0.333 dot 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 forever. Now, what is the decimal for 2 thirds? Four, six, right, this is 0 0.666 dot dot dot. Now, let's do some percentages because probability, simple probability is always represented in one of three ways, either as a fraction, or as a decimal, lots of times in sports, particularly in baseball, you know, batting averages and so forth are done as percentages, or excuse me, as decimals. And then the third way is percentages. You hear of a weather report like that. We have a 65% chance of rain tomorrow, okay? So percentages come up a lot. It's point three repeating percent, or you could write it as 33 and one third percent. They both 66.6 .6 repeating percent, or what would be missing up is two thirds percent.